Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with a full case, a jumbo case. Eight boxes of 2019 Bowman Draft Baseball. Pick your team number six from jazbeescasebreaks.com. Big thanks to all of these folks for getting into the action right here. Appreciate it. On a Friday night, hanging with me on a Friday night. Rex, last spot mojo with his Cubs. And there's everybody else. If you see the little rooftop symbols next to your name, that means you got that in a team random. That's in a separate video. Did I upload that video? I always forget to upload that video. I did not. I got it this time. Nice. And... Bowman, in a separate video, Bowman Draft Jumbo Picker Team 7 will be coming up right after this. And then we'll see what else we can get into at the end. Got about an hour and a half left by the time we get those two breaks done. So maybe we can squeeze in another uh, couple breaks before we call it a Friday night. And be sure to join us tomorrow if you're local or if you want to make the drive. Join us tomorrow for uh, National Hobby Shop Day. Ooh, you closed out the Obsidian, so let me add that to the schedule. Oh, we got Nick Jaspi's help here too, so this break will be a little bit faster. The Obsidian number block is sold out, so let's add that to the schedule. Pack stacked versus non pack stacked. What? Time? Yeah. I think like half an hour. Like if I did this on solo, it'd be like an hour and 20. Pretty good. And then we can get this under just under an hour. I think it's like 55 minutes or something like that. That's pretty good. Then. Yeah, no, it's really good. All right. So let me just update the schedule in the chat for those of you watching live. So there you go. So by the time we finish with Bowman, oh, actually I'll do. By the time we finish with Bowman Jumbo Six, then Bowman Jumbo Seven, then we'll do the Obsidian Random Number Block, then we'll do Obsidian Picker Team Three, then that should bring us to around nine nine fifteen ish LA time. That brings us to the last what forty five minutes of the broadcast, and we could probably squeeze in. Maybe that multi pack break is getting close. Maybe a super jumbo. Super Jumbo 5 is pretty close. That could that could be the last break of the night. Half case Obsidian Random. That's pretty quick. So we've got a lot going on. And that Black Diamond Random team should be pretty easy to fill. All right. Good luck, everybody. Uh, as you saw, paper does not ship. In the item description, you saw that. So no paper ships, but all this chrome will ship. They wanted you to do these yourself. Wait, who wanted me to do this myself? Was that or is that Bread? something else? Yeah. Do the do uh, open these myself? I think this would take forever, Brett. There's Desan Brown, Blue Jays. That goes to AJ, who got the uh, got the Blue Jays in a team random. So in Jumbo, there's three autographs per box. Super Jumbo has. Five autographs per box. Oh, and obviously paper that serial number will ship. <laughs> Brett doesn't do the Bowman. Yeah, it's pretty long, but I think the the hits, the the po the hit possibilities out of here are so incredible, especially for for baseball prospectors, that we can't not do it. Just way too much value in this stuff. And for years to come, too. A lot of times the values of these boxes go up. We we know people that buy cases of this Bowman Draft and just leave it in the backs of their closet. <laughs> you know, and just wait until there's a monster star that comes out of there. And then they can resell that stuff for a zillion dollars. And there's a lot of big names already that you can just, even if you just open these now, already a lot of big names. Like this guy, Hunter Bishop, will resell pretty well. Secondary market. CJ Abram for the uh, Padres. Adley Rushman for the Orioles. So, 
There's a lot of names. Andrew Vaughn. Is Bobby Witt not in this? Riley Green. Bobby Witt's been very saved for... That was they saving for next year. Um, 2020 Bowman. Oh, nice. A lot of them, they save jumps for that. That makes sense. There's always one or two guys they always save. Like that Schwarber, they saved Schwarber that one year. Yeah. And we've got, this will ship. Gold paper, 49 out of 50. Ryan Zephyrion. And the autograph is TJ Sakima for the Yankees. Ray Phillips with the Bronx Bombers. I have a case of 2017 Bowman drafts here that we're just sitting Whoa. on. Whoa, are we so, sitting on a case of Bowman yeah. draft 17? I didn't even know that. Joe Adele, yeah. That's, that's, so we'll, that we'll must be in the, in the secret area in the inventory room. We'll wait for him to blow up. Wow, and then bust out some 2017. Yeah. Jack up the price on yeah, everybody. 300% <laughs> markup. Out of 499, Brandon Lewis paper. Which would still probably be less than some of the other guys. Yeah. To be honest with you. I don't know. I don't. I don't follow the minor leagues that much. We have not pulled any super fractors yet. There's George Kirby to 4.99 for the M's. That'll be for Chris Parent, who got the Mariners in a team random. I hope Will Wilson will be good though. I'm hoping that Cody Hosey of the Dodgers is a, turns into a good Justin Turner replacement. Later on down a few years, I guess. I'd be time to renew my Baseball America subscription. Brett, you should have closed out that obsidian earlier. Now you gotta wait two hours. And purple chrome out of 250, Julio Pablo Martinez. For the Rangers, that'll be for Larry. It's all just paper, that's why I'm flashing by these. Just a facsimile autograph in case you were wondering. All right, that was box one, first three autographs. We will do an autograph recap at the end, so I should have said that earlier. Each of these stacks will represent a box. Thank you, Nick. Slide this over here. Next stack. It's like Jenga. I don't know what happened to that Kevin Maiton. He's a bust. He's, he's still super young, I think, Kevin Maiton, isn't he? I don't think he's ever going to make it for the majors. I think he's only like 18 now. I think he was like 16 no. when he was in all the Goodwin no, stuff. No, I think he's like 20-something now. What? But he's like not even the right, top 10 prospect. Now you're making me look this up. No, he's 19. Yeah, he's 19 years old. So he turns 20. Cut him some slack. So I said 20. So he's, gonna he's be just 20. turning twenty. He's just been a bust. He kind of he's been. Stinking. I mean, he's he's no Juan Soto. You can't expect everyone to be a Juan well, Soto. Yeah, I do. <laughs> just like eighteen-year-old mega stars yeah. just pop out of the gate. Ooh, look at this guy popping out. Wow. C. J. Abrams, four forty-one out of four ninety-nine refractor autograph for. Scott V. There you go, Scott. Who got randomized the Padres in the team random. Congrats. Won the box. Hmm? Who won the box? Um, Crouch. Brian Crouch. Oh, nice. And he said he if he opens it, he's like, should I just save it and just sell it for like $500 in two years? Yeah. Or, or if he opens it, he'll tell us if he got anything cool. Now, Rory hit the blue, so he's fine. Yeah, Rory hit the blue one. He's okay. Right now. If he's not okay, then we'll have to give him a talk or two. Like, yeah, relax, Rory. 
R E L A X. There's an uh, Andre Lipsius, purple paper to 250. Brett saying CJ's gonna be one of those top. I hope so. This guy could be a top guy. This draft class actually seems. I've heard more people talk about these top guys more than There's a lot of hitters. Some previous, yeah, a lot more hitters, which is also a good thing. 2020 Bowman is going to be nuts. Depending on the rookies they have in there, but they'll have, you know, Jordan Alvarez are putting in the rookie yeah. stuff for next year. That's going to be huge. Aristides, Aquino, or Aquino. Um, yeah, that should be pretty, this is a Joe big name Adele, too. Maybe. And then, yeah, Bobby Witt, you know, the other guys. There's Eric Rivera, 150, blue paper for the Angels. That goes to Daryl. And another angel. There's Kieran Paris. Sean and Nick were just talking about this guy a little bit earlier. Nice. Brian O saying when uh, the whole Aaron Rodgers thing went down, they had billboards up there with that said R E L A X. I love it. That's one of my favorite Aaron Rodgers quotes right there. One of my favorite sports quotes. It's like just relax. Relax. R E L A X. <laughs> Should do at least one of those super jumbos. I think one of those super jumbos. That, that could be the last break of the night. Super Jumbo. That'd be fit right in that 45 minute time slot. I like those super Tyler Callahan to 150. I like these two case fillers too. I do too. Just knock out yeah. two cases like this and then we're like next. Yeah. And then everyone it's gets like, their fill of Bowman it's Draft. Like, we'll and like, two a day, we know. don't want to see any more until tomorrow. Yeah. It's perfect. There's Kyle Stowers to 499. And then once we're out of Bowman, that prism will so. We'll fly, yeah. yeah. No, re no really big releases the rest of the year. Year. Um, you know, Bowman's, Bowman's best. best. Yeah, I like Bowman's best. That's usually popular on the side. Yeah, Bowman's best is popular. Contenders football is the next year. They moved it? Next month, yeah. Contender, what about Contenders basketball? I thought that Contenders was... Contenders basketball, I think, might be this year. That should be huge. Uh, Origins basketball. I'm really looking forward to that. that. That looks really nice. Yeah, it looks cool. And Greg Jones is our third autograph out of the box. Classic baseball name. Yeah. And his nickname is classic also. Jonesy is probably yeah. what they call him. Just yeah. put a Y at the end of things. you got a baseball nickname. All right, Jonesy. Let's go. Way, way to pick it, Jonesy. There you go, Jonesy. That goes to the Rays. That'll be for EA and the Rays. I like a lot more color autographs this year. Yeah, me too. And I'm glad that they got rid of Hobby for this one. Me too. I'm definitely <laughs> glad about that. I didn't even want to ask. Yeah. I was afraid that you'd be like, oh, yeah, we got five cases of Hobby ordered. Those they, are... I think that... I forgot. Two years ago they started doing that. Oh, good. The hobbies are rough. Ooh, Box Hopper. I can't tell if those are one per case. Now, Rory was saying last night they're about one every few cases. We've been hitting them. Crazy. Out of 150, Andrew Vaughn, Atomic. Pretty cool. It's one of the big names in the hobby. Francesco with the White Sox. I'm assuming those box hoppers could be autographed at certain... Yeah, they are. Could that be Riley Green I used for the Team Random photo is... Is that... Um, the Kobe Purple Prism? Oh, and the basketball... Remind me in a couple hours after these two. Actually, remind me after this break is over, and I'll and I'll take care of that. It's right next to me, right over here. That prison break. All right, there's Grant Levine to 250, Rockies, and we'll go to Levi. All the numbered cards. Get 
EA wants us to be extra safe. So there are your three autographs right there. You already got a ray out of here. Right there, EA. So far, so good. All right, here is the next box over here. Boop. Right over there. Okay. We got you, EA. Look at that, what service. And we've got Brennan Malone, 41 out of 50, gold wave for EA and the Snakes. Relation to Kevin Malone from The Office? Could be Kevin Malone from The Office, could be a relation. Nice, that's our first autograph out of that box. Oh, by the way, the Brooklyn Nets won, which helps uh, Mark N's parlay that he was talking about earlier, in case you guys were wondering. We got for the Braves, Purple Chrome, uh, Darian Cruz to 250. That'll be for Robert Throne and the Braves. There you go, Robert. <laughs> There's Mark N right now. There you go. He had some strong financial interest in them. He was worried a little bit. All right, if that Rookies and Stars sells out, that would be the last break of the night. We'd be able to put that right into that last time slot, ladies and gentlemen. There's Logan Gilbert. To four ninety nine paper for the M's. And for the uh, Indians, Daniel Espino, 187 out of 499. And the Indians is for Kenton, who got the uh, got the tribe in a team random. Could be, yeah, maybe relation to Carl Malone, possibly Sam Malone, which would be better than Post Malone. People like the Post Malone, though. People like him enough to for Tops to put him into Ginter last year, or this recent version of Ginter. Remember that? We didn't pull any Post Malone autos, but... More paper here. And we got Drew Waters to 150 blue paper for the Braves. Another one for Robert. Jason Jaspi, what's up? Oh, man. There you go, defending his ducks. Chris Murphy to 499 paper. That's for the Red Sox. And we've got Gunnar Henderson. It's a great name. Old Gunny, as we'll call him. Ken Goldberg with the O's. That's the third autograph out of this box. And we'll see what kind of parallels we have out of here.
And looks like that. All right, so oops. And oh, don't don't forget the. Uh, we still have a uh, four spot random number block for rookies and stars as well. But if the Saints sell out on that one, I'm sure we can get that number block sold out fairly quickly too. We got a gold C.J. Abram, 41 out of 50. Gold chrome for the Padres, Scott V. Nice, Scott. Some pretty strong stuff there. box and we've got a black parallel here eight out of 75 Zach Thompson that looks cool uh, Chris Chris Bonewell with the uh, Cardinals got randomized the Cardinals I'll randomize the Cardinals in the team random. Nice. 19th overall pick in the first round. Yeah, that is pretty strong. All right, nice. So that Rookies and Stars is sold out. We just need to move the last four number block spots. Link is in the chat. Then we can put that into the schedule, and that'll probably be the last break of the night. We got Jemai Jones to 150, blue chrome for the Angels, Daryl with that one. And Ethan Small, John Alfie's with the Brew Crew. Should be a third autograph out of this stack here. Purple autograph, maybe? No, that's just paper. Purple paper to 250. Matt Walner for the Twins. That's going to head out to John G. Green auto? No, it's CJ Abrams green paper though. 75 out of 99. And there's Riley green. Wow. So we got green paper, CJ Abrams, and Riley green to 71. Speckle on card autograph for the Tigers. That's a strong one there for Brett Myers. There you go, big rig. That is your fifth overall pick right there. Should be a big name. You would hope. So the Tigers are hoping in their rebuild. 
I'm pretty sure, did he come out of college? I'm pretty sure he's out of college, so you may see him sooner rather than, than later than the high school prospects, obviously. High school guys, sometimes you got to add a couple years or so before they start sniffing a, a major league spot. Ryan Jensen to 499. I've got a buddy named Ryan Jensen who's from Chicago. He's a White Sox fan, though. Now, Ryan Jensen goes to Rex, by the way. He's got his Cubs in this one. Think the White Sox are going to be sneaky good this year, Brian? Oh, I do, too. I thought they were going to be sneaky good last year, but they may even be sneaky good this year. Lucas Giolito throwing the ball well. You know, they still got Jose Abreu. They got Eloy Jimenez. You know, and he, I think he should be a star. They got some pitching. They got Kopech coming back. They got a couple of, they got a decent pitching staff. I think maybe even a better than decent pitching staff. And yeah, Yasmani Grand, Brett's not happy about it, but Yasmani Grandal is going to be with the White Sox. So that adds a little bit of a veteran bat. And a good, pretty pretty decent defensive catcher, too. Great pitch framer. I know. That, I know, family show, Brett. Easy easy with the curse words, but that's how fired up he was, Brian O. He just lost his head. 18 out of 99, Spencer Brickhouse. And we got Brady McConnell. Brady McConnell for the Royals. That's going to go to Anthony. It's all right, Brett. You were just fired up. I get it. It's more of a PG-13 show anyway, not a G-rated show. I think some PG-13 movies allows like one F word a, a movie, right? In certain context. <laughs> Josh, what's going on? Sure. Logan Davidson, gold, numbered, done. There's Ryan Nelson to 499. We got Joseph uh, Ortiz to 150. Well, what are the what are the Brewers going to do in the off season? So no no Moose, no Yaz. They made the deal with the Padres last night. No, they didn't make a deal with the Padres last night. That was the Rays and Padres. I thought they had a deal. Wasn't there a second base deal, something like that? Didn't Urias go there? Maybe that was a couple weeks ago. Yeah, Urias, right? I think it's got to focus on the pitching. I don't know if I'd be terrible. I mean, I feel like you guys can end up hitting. Or at least put together runs. But that starting pitching needs some work. Out of 250, Alec Manoa. That's right, Jacob. There are about 10 million cards in this break. And guess what? We got another one coming up. So... I'll, I'll see you for that. <laughs> These papers don't ship, of course. Just FYI. It's cold. You think they're going to land a monster pitcher? And Garrett Cole on top of that rotation would be pretty good. 
They've got a couple of youngsters, but if they can get like a, a true number one right there, it would be pretty awesome. No, no Cubs yet, Rex. We did pull a Cubs numbered uh, paper, Ryan Jensen, but no ink yet. Brett, do you think Strasburg's going to the Yankees? I think Strasburg stays with the. Uh, I think Strasburg stays with the Nats. I could see Anthony Rendon going to to New York before Strasburg. I think Strasburg's pretty comfortable in D.C. I think Anthony Rendon they can definitely let walk. And there's Quinn Priester. I guess unless the Yankees just just blow him away with an, a huge offer, huge money deal, I suppose. They give him like forty million a year. I, I can't kind of hard to turn that down, I guess. Garrett Cole would look good in Brewers colors. Garrett, everyone wants Garrett Cole. I know the Dodgers are kicking the tires on Garrett Cole. Angels definitely are. Padres would love to have a Garrett Cole on top of there, or they need pitching too. Twins could use a Garrett Cole. Grayson Rodriguez, purple paper. I guess we're talking Strasburg to the Yankees. Yankees could use a Garrett Cole. Everyone could use a Garrett Cole. Whoa, Sean, watch, watch your mouth there. Dodgers can kick rocks. We will, we will not accept that kind of language here at Jaspies. Josh, easy with that language there. There's just three autographs here. Pirates, Matt Sims got the Pirates straight up. All right, good luck, everybody. We got Jack... Uh, Jack K to 150. Dodgers would kick rocks and then blow that. What are you trying to say, Rex? Probably because the rocks cheated. If you get my drift. Yell, yell, it should not have won MVP. We knew it was going to be Bellinger the whole time. Better defender, better hitter, a healthier player. Doesn't get a. Ballinger battled injuries all season long. Yelich gets a little injury, and then he's like, oh, too hurt. Can't play, you guys. Sorry. Out of 250, Wander Franco, purple paper for the Rays. He's just like, oh, I'm hurt. Ow. Can't make it to the last month of the season, even though my team needs me. Fragile. Yeah, broke his kneecap. Fragile. Just fragile. You can't give val most valuable player to injury-prone players. Jim Gray, you sound a little biased. Well, talk to the Brewers fans. They're pretty biased too, Jim. Although Brian O did concede that Ballinger deserved it. Yeah, thanks, Logan. Exactly. What Logan said. <laughs> Blue paper to 150, Nick Quintana. The eligible facility first in everything, not first in the division. So, sometimes 
your most valuable player has to carry you to to the division. Zach Thompson, Cardinals, 19th overall. That'll go to Chris. If Yelich plays the rest of the year, he wins. Sure. If I mean, I mean, you can say that if Clayton Kershaw didn't have a bad back, maybe he would have had another Cy Young a couple years ago. I mean. Jim says, the last time I looked, baseball was a team game. It is. Yeah, I actually don't really care about the, the MVP awards and all that sort of stuff. It's kind of silly, especially when you're trusting like baseball writers to vote on this award. And, I don't know. There's Brett Batty to 499. Blue paper for the Mets. That goes to Armando and the Mets. And we've got Spencer Steer. 361 out of 499 for the Twins. John G with the Twins. Got the Twins straight up. And that's our third autograph out of this box. Now let's see if we can find some parallels before we move on to the next box. Brett, Brett, you thought MVP means most stats say wins above replace me. Yelich is number one. Well, let's put let let's let's put this to bed, Brett. Ryan Braun stole an MVP from Matt Kemp, and we know Ryan Braun's a cheater. And so Cody Bellinger, you know, slips his way into an MVP this year. See, we're even now, even Steven. There's Jordan Adams. Purple Chrome to 250. Looks like no other parallels here, so. All right. Breaksville. Almost done with Breaksville. Almost out of town. Two boxes to go, and we will do an autograph recap. That was 10 years ago, says Brett. There's no statute of limitations when it comes to karma. And there's Ryan Jensen. Got a buddy, Ryan Jensen. His autograph kind of looks like this. What if this? He's what if that? Illinois, yeah. He's he's a White Sox guy. Oh. So I don't know. This could be him. I've never seen these two people in the same room. Could be my buddy Ryan Jensen. Cubs Rex. Last spot mojo. On the board, Rex. I think that's the first Cubs auto we've seen in a number of breaks. We got Will Wilson. 80 out of 150. Will Wilson for Daryl and the Angels. Fun fact, Ryan O's childhood friend Tony Harper was drafted by the Dodgers and was roommates with Matt Kemp in training camp. Nice guy. People, people say, I, don't, I mean, I don't know Matt Kemp from what I hear in the papers. 
and interviews and whatnot, but everyone says Matt Kemp's a pretty pretty solid dude. We got Brandon Malone, Green Chrome, seventy-seven out ninety-nine for EA and the Diamondbacks. One more auto to go out of this box. Let's see if we can find some more parallels, too. There is Tyler Callahan, Speckle for the Reds. We got Corbin Carroll to 250, purple chrome. Where's that, where's that third auto? Spida? Logan, are you, are you making a Goodfellas reference? There's Ryan Garcia for Larry and the Rangers. I, I thought you said you was all right, Spida. <laughs> no, no, I thought you was saying that you was all right, Spida. There you go, Larry Rangers. That was our third autograph of the box. Let's see if there's any parallels. I think there might be one down there. Maybe some blue paper. And it is. It's Will Wilson for Daryl and the Angels. 200 out of 499. Obviously, we'll have all of those sleeved and top loaded before they go out. <laughs> well, you're digging the hole. I'm all out of lime. You're digging the hole. What do you do? You just shoot him? I'm a good shot. <laughs> when Joe Pesci says that in Goodfellas, cracks me up. I'm a good shot. What do you want? I'm a good shot. <laughs> well, you shoot the guy? What do you do? Just shoot the guy? What do you want? I'm a good shot. Careful with these. Last box. Another great Joe Pesci line at the beginning of, uh, no, not the beginning of Casino, but in the middle of a Casino somewhere where they're, him and Robert De Niro are meeting in the desert. The voiceover, a lot of holes in the desert. <laughs> 001 out of 250. Cleveland Indians, Kenton with that one. There you go. Nice class of 2019 autograph. Uh, this is Jumbo. We got another Jumbo break coming up right after this. Then we've got, I think, Obsidian right after that. Let me look at the schedule. And then, did that uh, number block sell out? Two left, so I think that our last break of the night is probably going to be Rookies and Stars. Down to two on that one. I don't think anything else is sold out.
Yeah, it looks like it's going to be rookies and stars to close out the night. Let me actually add that to the schedule. Give me a second here, folks. All right, there you go. So there's a schedule in the chat. Out of 499, Brandon Malone. And the there's a Logan Davis. This is what Josh wanted, right? Yeah, there it is. Josh, Clemens, Logan, Davidson, Oakland, A's. Not numbered, but there you go. On the board. Sorry. Good thing I top loaded that. Late first round pick. Boom. You're welcome, Josh. Thank you for getting in. We got some orange coming up, and it's for EA and the Diamondbacks. One out of 25, orange paper, Blake Walston. Should be a third autograph, then we'll do the box topper, and then I think that's it. We'll move on to the next break. This is pick your team six, ladies and gentlemen. Jumbo six and jumbo seven will be coming up right after this. All right, there's Royce Lewis at 250, purple paper for the twins. Are we going to see Royce Lewis in action soon? He was a former first round pick. And our third autograph is going to go to the Yankees. 81 out of 150. Jake Sanford, Ray Phillips with the Bronx Bombers. There you go, Jake. All right, let's see any parallels to close things out. Maybe something nice in that box topper in the back. We got Gold Ian Anderson for the Braves out of 50, Robert Throne. Yeah, I'm, I'm, we're, we're almost done, Brett. But we got one more. And there you go. End of the break. Nice break, ladies and gentlemen. And it's going to be, it's going to be Bled Day? Bled Day? Bleed My Own Blood? Oh, no, no autograph. I was hoping. 11 out of 99. Blade or Bled Day? I think it's Blade. Blade? JJ Blade. Fourth overall pick, Miami Marlins Levi with that one. There you go, Levi. And there you go, everybody. Thanks, everyone, for watching. Here is a quick.
Autograph recap. Appreciate everyone getting in. Some good stuff here. A lot of solid first round picks here. Some good color. A lot. Yeah, nice CJ Abrams right here. Nick was mentioning earlier, there seems to be a lot more parallel autographs, at least this year, for us, So, which is pretty nice. There you go. Picker Team 6 Jumbo Edition in the books. Thanks for watching. Thanks for breaking with us. This is Joe, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.